Mike Bassick joining us now, former Major League Baseball pitcher. What's up, Bassick? How you doing? How's it going, man? Good, it sounds man. like, you know, New York, they get lucky, man. The weather was, you know, cold last year, but awesome time in New York for the Super Bowl. Can but you guys imagine if this was this time last year? I know. Oh, you're thinking, man, in Dallas, you know, we always get bad weather in Dallas yeah. for whatever event. Like, the national championship just came in, and, yeah, it was like 30 degrees. So people are like, man, it's freezing cold in Dallas. And right yeah. now it's 70 degrees in Dallas. Right. It's beautiful yeah. once there's not a major event yeah. there. It, that, that's just the way it happens. New York is lucky in that regard. Dallas, not so much. Bassett now is on 105.3 The Fan in Dallas. Of course, my former station in Dallas as well. Now, Mike. A lot of people know you from the moment where you gave a Barry Bond 756th career home run, the record-breaking home run. I thought they knew me from winning four games for the New York Mets oh, in 0203. That's, that's Seriously, what I meant. at least you know, butter them yeah. up a little bit. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. All of a sudden, Mike yeah. walks away. Like, All yes. right, good yeah, I saw you have like this hunt auction yeah. thing out. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I need yeah. to give all that stuff to them so I can make some money off that Barry Bond stuff. Do you still have the jersey and everything? Yeah, from that I have night? jersey. Uh, the thing is, I have four jerseys from that year, and one of them is documented, like. Uh, Major League Baseball put some yeah. sticker on it to really? make sure that it's that one. And you still own it? Yeah, but no I have four. I have four ones, and I've looked one. I looked about a few months ago. I moved houses, and I was looking. I was like, "Crap! I don't. I'm not really sure which one is the the right jersey." Ooh. So, so like it's not specified with the certification. No, there on is. That one? There is. I can't find the sticker like where it is. <laughs> so I have four jerseys. One of them is the one that I wore in that game. And I'm pretty sure I know two of them aren't. Okay. And so I'm down to, like, these two on, like, which one is the one that I actually want right, in the Some game. baseball historian will know. Wait, I was going to yeah. say, yeah. do you think David Hunt knows? No, oh, probably. If you right? put all four in front of David Hunt right now. Have yeah. you seen him? NFL David Hunt's no. in Hunt auctions. He's walking around here. But I, I bet you that he can he he could be able to I mean I'm sure they can look at I feel this. like I feel like he could just like wave it like waft the odor of them and be like, Yeah, this one gave up a home run to Barry Bonds here. <laughs> I gave up a lot of home runs. That was gonna be tough. <laughs> oh, is man. there is there a part of that though, even though you're on you're on the, the wrong side of history, you're still proud that you're you're part of history. Oh, it's kind of cool. I mean, it got me on to uh, ESPN on uh, it was called Cold Pizza at the time. Yeah, you know? I remember that. Yeah, yeah, and and I uh, got to do baseball tonight for the playoffs in 2007 for a few days up there, and and did ESPN News. So, yeah, that started kind of. Uh, the trek to where I am now, getting to be on the home of the Dallas Cowboys and now Texas Rangers in uh, Dallas Fort Worth. So, yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, right. It could be worse. Yeah, started a second career. Now, Bassick, as a former Met, of course, we're now covering Mets and Yankees uh, here on your home for New York Sports 104.5 The Team. And in regards to the Yankees, Masahiro Tanaka has the the elbow injury, decides not to go get the Tommy John surgery. Your thoughts now in 2015 with pitchers that say, I got this, I don't need the surgery, and they just wait it out. It's a ticking time bomb thing, isn't it? I feel like it. That's interesting to me just because I assume that he did it, that he got the surgery when he decided to sit out the last two months of the season. Um, See, and he came back at the end and pitched a few and okay. said, I'm getting better, guys. I'll be ready for you in spring. Yeah, you know, I mean, back in the day, that's what happened in the right. 60s, 70s, before Tommy John decided to do the surgery. I mean, this was the deal that you could either figure it out, figure a different way to do things, uh, figure a way to for pain tolerance, or your career was over. But I feel like with such a uh, long investment in him that it's not a New York Yankee, it's not a two-year deal or three-year deal. It's a it's a long-term situation with him in New York that you would just recommend, hey, let's do it. So we yeah. miss half of 2015. Right. Let's have you good for 2016, 17, 18, and, and beyond. Especially hopefully. with the Yankees right now not yeah. looking like they're going to be a World Series contender at the moment. Just throwing that yeah. out there. And, and even though the American League's wide open, obviously the yes. Royals, nobody saw the Royals making right. the World Series and, and making right. that run. Uh, the Yankees... You know, they have a nice team on paper. I mean, their names on paper look really nice. And maybe it all comes together in 2015. And Boston had to kind of deconstruct their team and kind of reconstruct it again in the offseason. And, and in Texas, you know, that was a team that people picked to go to the World Series. And that was a 60-something win team last year. The American League is wide open. So I can't even count out the Yankees because I don't have a favorite in the American League, like in the National League, the Nationals and the Dodgers just right. look like the two best teams in baseball by far. Well, they're just going to outpitch you at this yeah. point, you know. Yeah. But you look at you look at that 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 Yankee pitching staff, and you know Nova coming back from the Tommy John, and Pineda can can he pitch in cold weather without a glob of pine tar? And <laughs> you know CC with the with the knees supposedly supposedly looking better. Yeah. Like as as a guy who I'm, I'm admittedly a homer, big yeah. Yankee fan. What do I hang my hat on as a guy who threw the baseball? Could could it all just fall apart, or is there a chance they all come together? 
there's a chance, but that is an older team, and it's really tough to make it through 162 games with that big of a veteran kind of presence there and not have guys that have been hurt recently to just all of a sudden go 162 or make 30 starts uh, in a season. You know, I, I think baseball's changing, and the Yankees, I, I think, are going to have a tough time doing this in, in, in changing in that the power's gone. It's really weird. I can't explain why steroids took out home runs, but the pitchers are still throwing 100 and, and even throwing a little bit harder than that. But it's all based off of let's have starters, to me, that go six innings. Right. Let's have a nice staff. We don't maybe need an ace. Let's just have some really good pitchers that are able to go about six innings, okay. and then let's load up in bullpen guys. It's specialty guys. Yeah, and, and let's have five guys down there because you know what? I played with guys like David Weathers who was on some of the Yankees' early success teams in the mid to late 90s and other guys like Nelson, the side armor, right, right-handed. right And you know what they did? Even though Pettit was awesome and, and other guys, they turned it over to that bullpen that was amazing. Right. And that's how they be- – became a dynasty now their lineup was amazing jeter leading them but you know what they did is they gave it to a bullpen and they said hey we need 12 outs and they said okay what's the score we're winning two to one it's going to stay one for them we might add and get five or six by the end of the game but i i think uh the yankees need to look at that dynasty they had and said you know what what made us special and that bullpen made them really special right, right. and that's what made the kansas city Royals special that's what's made the giants special it's not as great as kershaw is and, and maybe you know tanaka can be it's about bullpens recently especially with the lack of power in baseball and I, i'm disappointed with texas's bullpen right now because i'm like man there's really i think a good bull uh, a good blueprint here in baseball and that is have four studs in your bullpen that are great at getting lefties out getting righties out and then you have two guys just you're like the eighth and ninth inning last six outs 95 percent of the time it's six outs with no runs yeah and and, and and you know we talk so much about how the nfl is a copycat game would you agree that in baseball it's kind of the same way that teams like the royals with the strong bullpen teams are, are starting to look at that and, and copy in that way or, or you're saying they should copy in that way i think way. a little bit but not as much because there's such a discrepancy in salaries okay. because there's caps obviously in football that make teams very similar yeah where you have to choose where you're going to spend your money and not spend money where I, I think teams like the yankees like uh you know the red sox dodgers they can say screw it we, we don't have to be like the royals we don't have to be like the athletics we can just buy everything we can try to be good at everything yeah. Where I think in, in football here, you know, at the Super Bowl, you can't. It's impossible to be good at every position because they put caps on it. But I think I think the Yankees should look into let's just look at their dynasties of the of the, the last dynasty they had and let's try to copycat that. And that was done by developing great arms that were awesome in your bullpen. Nice starters, yeah. good starters, but right. we don't have to pay thirty million a year to starters. That's not how they they won the World Series in the late nineties and two thousands. Mike Bassick, former Major League Baseball pitcher with Armin in the back on one hundred four five the team. Bassick now with one hundred five three the fan in Dallas. So a Rod over the last week or two yeah. reaches out to the new commissioner and tries to mend that fence with him. Reaches out to the Yankees and the Yankees said no. We're not going to treat you like a superstar anymore. You've abused that. You've taken advantage of that. We're done. We'll see you in spring training. What do you take as a former player, if you're on that Yankees team, how do you make this A-Rod situation not weird? I mean, it's going to be awkward when he comes back, isn't he? Isn't it? I think uh, the great thing about baseball is you can kind of be an individual in a team sport. And, and A-Rod took it to a level where you don't want, because he, like, I'm higher than the team. Yeah, but, higher than the players' union. But, yeah, yeah. but I think as, as a player, if you're Brian, McCann who came off a bad year you're just worried about yourself you're like how can I be a better player that helps the Yankees win baseball games and and you don't have to pass the ball around like in basketball or in football you know if if an offensive guard's horrible you're like we're screwed because we have to make up for him I think you just come in and you do your job when you go to Tampa you just become like I'm worried about me being the best I can be so my team can be good because there's nothing I can do when A-Rod plays or doesn't play or his at bat I'm just sitting there and watching anyways. There's nothing I can do to help his at bat. So I I think in baseball, as weird as it can be, you can really handle it better in baseball when you have kind of a rogue guy that you don't like because you don't really have any interaction with them anyways. Interesting. Mike Bassett with Armin in the back on 104.5, the team live from Radio Row. All right. I got to ask you. Yeah. You ready to revive the five? Yeah, man, I've been a high five guy. Yeah. Come on, you gotta, you gotta get, uh, high get, five. It, get after it. Yeah, you don't want to do the well, bash. Well, you don't go, well, I'll go bash. I'll go yeah, bash right brothers there. with you. I'll bring yeah. that out. Bring the Roids right. back. Yeah, right. man. I mean, 
Well, you <laughs> that know, was the dynasty. Huh? That was the Yankees dynasty. Oh, my, not that they on. were. Oh, I'm just saying that was that was oh, the part oh, of it. Jambi, you know. Jeez, I mean, I look at ERAs now. You know, yeah. and how uh, they're like, yeah, it's the the run scored, and now an average ERA is four oh seven, and back then, like two thousand, it was like five fourteen or something. Right, you know right, I mean? like, and, yeah. And every game was like nine to eight. Now it's like three yeah. to four. Yeah. You know, well, those aren't the only numbers either. You can look at Scherzer's contract and realize the oh game's changing gosh. too. Yeah, just like the money you used to make, right, Mike? Yeah, yeah, yeah two hundred thousand with the Mets one year. Woo! Yeah. Well, it is now the, the minimum is five hundred thousand. Yeah. Hey, does Scherzer freak you out? Can you look at him on the internet? Because those eyes freak eyes. me out. Like no. I have to click off the page as fast you, as no. I can. I wonder if that bothers batters at all. Like they just they're they're staring in, he's staring back, and they're like, "What the? What, did, what is that?" I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I never looked in guys' eyes. I just saw him at the plate. Like, dang, that's a big good dude. Or man, he's little. <laughs> he can't hit a home run. Then bash Shane Victory. And I'm like, "What the hell, Shane? You're five foot eight. You shouldn't be hitting the ball that far." Mike Bassick, former Major League Baseball pitcher and dude, we're here because of Bud Light. Oh, sweet. So we got Bud Light gear for everybody. That joins us, so okay. are you up for whatever? You just got your Bud Light hat. Sweet man, nice, Thanks. huh? And you, you yeah. got that dome, so it's. I do. I didn't bring I think, a hat, and there's some sun out here. Yes. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you'll get toast. Sweet man. See, I saw that on right. your on your. We hat gotta already. hang out this week. Let's hang out this time. Right. Time, I don't man. Make that plan at all. all. Uh, tomorrow night media party too. I yeah, hear. it's gonna be fun. Yeah, let's get drunk. And we're in. The, let's do it. We're Bud in the Light. same hotel. <laughs> yeah. oh, my wife's listening. Yeah. Business trip, honey. All business. Yeah, we won't talk yeah. about Texas Tech, by the way. Guns They're up. pathetic at all sports, hey, except dude, baseball. They just won a basketball over a the game? weekend against the best team in the Big 12. That's right. They won a game. Yeah, against Sweet. Iowa State, the yeah. best team oh, in the Big 12. Oh, is it that time of year again? By the way, Bassick went to Tech. Oh, really? Yeah. I signed with him. Guns and up. And then, yeah, I went for three semesters. He, he was there. He went for a little bit. Yeah, I root for him. He went there about the average amount of time. Yeah. As far as Bass yeah. is concerned, Tech is awesome. I love him. As far as arm is concerned, didn't they like give up 82 points in a game or something like that? In football? Well, time's up. Mike Bassett, <laughs> all right, join this man. We'll uh, we'll party with you, dude. Thanks. Oh.